you get that feeling? A lot of people do. They were right, not maybe on the edge, but boy, the edge is in sight. And we're going to take a, a huge dive into something. Call it an unknown abyss, uh, hell on earth, uh, the globalists' stew pot, whatever you want to call it. Uh, don't forget the Zionists either. Well, it's the same thing. The idea of secession has always intrigued me. I, frankly, am an, an unabashed supporter of the uh, idea that uh, this country would have been much better off had the South won the Civil War. Now, before you say that means you support slavery, you could not be any more incorrect. I'm talking about the political, financial aspect of it. The North had its share of problems as well. If you know anything about the real Lincoln by Thomas DiLorenzo, you'll know that Abe Lincoln was about as racist an American as there was. Uh, people who wrote down transcriptions as he spoke had to strike the N-word practically, they say, with every sentence. So don't give me any of this slavery stuff. The idea of independence and relative equality and a loose confederacy of states, each with their own individual paths to follow, has always seemed to be much more practical and logical than a union over which the Rothschild, Zionist, Jewish, central bankers could impose their will, which they did very easily, was the goal. They wanted the union. Easy pickings when you got it all coalesced into one chunk. They can just step in and install their, their debt usury money vampire system and they're off to the races and that's what they did. Uh, Vermont was talking about seceding, but obviously cooler heads didn't prevail, and they didn't. They should have. I wish they had. It would have started something very interesting. Secession, of course, is the act of withdrawing from an organization, a union, or especially a political entity like these formerly United States. I mean, hell, the states are already so uh, disaligned. Why not secede? I'm not the only person who thinks this way, but they don't talk about it in the controlled Zionist Jewish mainstream media because that's not befitting of what the Federal Reserve and ultimately their masters, the end of the money rainbow, the Rothschilds, want. Tex Mars is back with us tonight and I, I got a catalog of Texas mar marvelous. I, I just don't even know how to describe them. If you want to see something, go online to Tex Mars and look at the catalog of materials that he has. Uh, DVDs, books. I honestly don't know how he's done it all. It is a beautiful catalog full of uh, as much information as you would ever need to figure it all out. It's called The Power of Prophecy. I'm sure you can request a catalog. I got a brand new 2014 catalog. Uh, it is just packed. Just amazing amount of research and, and creative writing and presentations. Extraordinary. And the man himself is back tonight our friend Tex Morris. Hello, Tex. Glad to hear your voice. How are you? Well, great. I, I was enjoying hearing you about, talking about Abe Lincoln and uh, oh. the you know the Confederacy and things like that. Uh, boy, you're you're just right on. And well, you know, I know we wanted to talk today about this uh, incredible subject. I, I'm just convinced, uh, Jeff. I, I don't know about you, but I, I see America uh, as in a death spiral. That's that's all we can say. We're we're, we're spiraling downward. We're in a death cycle now, mm -hmm. uh, and I, and I really believe that it's now past time. Uh, we can no longer say, "Let's take back this country." Oh no, and we can no longer say, "Contact your congressman, write your senator." Can't say that's that right. anymore. I I think uh, you know Obamacare, the incident we had there in Congress, the charade that the Republicans uh, played against us uh, should have convinced everybody that they're, they're not two political parties. Perfectly we, said. We have there it is. Obamacare now. Uh, it's being forced uh, down the, our throats. We, we, you and I know the House of Representatives had the power of the purse, according to the Constitution. All they had to do was say no and not vote on it. They didn't, they didn't have to vote on anything. It was a sort of a negative power all they had to do was say, no, we're not going to vote on that. Uh, and uh, they caved and they gave them everything. And I understand now uh, the Republicans are working behind the scenes to give Obama even more. 
They want to, to cut out Medicare entirely uh, and force all of the elderly onto Obamacare. Oh, they do? Oh, that, yes. Well, how many deaths will that cause, ladies and gentlemen? You better start thinking. Get your calculators out because it'll run up the tab real quick. They've, uh, they've already cut $800 billion from Medicare, uh, and they put it in Obamacare. So th this is, and they've known, they've been spending this money for three and a half years. They spent $632 million to build a defective website, uh, but they don't really care whether it works or it, it doesn't. It gives them the control that right. they need. Right. That's uh, three two-thirds of a billion dollars to build a, a uh, crackpot loser of a website that you can't even use. It's a joke. That's right. That's right. But it's it's a... Uh, it's totally defective. People are now finding in their mail they're being cut off of their regular insurance, the medical insurance they've had for years and years. Uh, they're being they're receiving letters telling them that their premiums are going to double, some even triple, uh, and and every everybody is confused. They're scratching their heads. They don't know what to do. Uh, but uh, re I want to repeat again: the object is control. They now control. They claim one-sixth of the economy. Uh, all of my doctor friends tell me that they're quitting, but, I, but I, I, I have heard today from a very reliable source uh, in ICE, they tell me that the Obama administration is preparing to bring in uh, up to uh, 500,000, now this is an incredible statement, up to 500,000 new <laughs> doctors and nurses uh -huh. from overseas. Uh-huh, sure. They're going yeah. to relax all of the immigration standards. Yeah. Uh, and, and so... They'll come in on those H1, H1, uh, what is it, H-1-2 visas. They'll bring them in by the 747 load from India for sure. they got hundreds right. of thousands of surplus doctors over there. That's right. We're going to have Pakistanis, Bangladeshis. We're, we're going to have them all. Indians, they're all going to be here in America. Uh, and nurses, too. Uh, so, and, and doctors are quitting left and right, and they're trying to find out, you find what they can do to try to escape this, uh, but there's not much they can do. Many of them are going into longevity uh, type of medicine, or they're going into, uh, uh, you know, cosmetic surgery, whatever they can do to try to, to get from this Medicare system. But I think within a year, you'll be finding out that, that our hospital beds are all empty, uh, for you, I mean, they're full, of course, with illegal aliens and others that get... Uh, oh, yeah, uh, that's after uh, Congress mandated that we give every one of these illegals the best medical care we can provide at no charge. That's right. I, I think that's only part of the death spiral, though. But I, I believe next, Obama has already said he next will go uh, for the uh, immigration reform. Now, this has been called perpetual amnesty. It will be the last, and I want to repeat this, Jeff. This is going to be unbelievable, but it's true. This will be the final, the last immigration bill ever passed in America. Yeah. Because it will give perpetual amnesty sure. forever and ever to any illegal who wants to come into America. They will be able to come in. Uh, they, they don't have to ask for advanced permission. And once they come in, they just get a permit. And they're, 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 they're basically a citizen. Uh, and, you know, they can even vote now. Uh, they, don't, uh, they don't even have to show ID. They can go in and say they're, they're Joe Gomez or, uh, you know, Bill Valenzuela, whatever they want to say. Nobody will question them. They can vote. This is why Obama uh, and the liberals will never have to face the election again. Now, he won by 5 million votes, Barack Obama did presidency mm -hmm. five million votes mm -hmm. but they're going to now recognize 25 to 35 million illegal aliens already in america and the republicans are are, are really going into this big they want it bad marco rubio all of them want this uh ted cruz of the united states that's right uh that they want am uh immigration reform it's called but it's really perpetual amnesty Think about this. 25 to 30 million more Democrats in America with this new bill. We'll have a one-party system, basically. 
That's right. The Republicans know that they're, they're, it's all over. They're finished. Yet they're still going to promote this. I mean, George W. Bush promoted it. The American people stood up and said, no, no, no. But now it's back again, and a Boehner, Cantor, all of the Republicans are for it. Mm-hmm. They've, been, they've been meeting, they've been strategizing, they've been working with Obama, trying to figure out how they're going to get it over us. But they believe now that they can get it over us because they, they did, it was so smooth the way they handle uh, Obamacare. You know, Boehner and all of them, they handle it so smooth. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, they voted over 40 times to repeal it, yeah. and then finally they voted, okay, we lost, it's in. And of course, they never really even dented it. This is what is going to happen with immigration reform. So what I want people to understand is the explosion of foreigners has already begun. Now, right. the Border Patrol has been told to stand down. They're not arresting people anymore. You know, unless a guy comes over, you know, <laughs> robbing and raping, you know, they, they're not going to take him in. And in, in that case, they, they they let him go the next day So uh, into the United States. So the Border Patrol, they have pretty uniforms. They're well-trained, but they're not, they, don't, they have no job to do. You're, you're, no you're, job. You couldn't be more correct. Everything you've said is true. 25 to 35, maybe more. We don't even know. The flood tide is nonstop, and the Republicans are finished. I wonder if they committed suicide or they were scripted to do this. You can, they, can, they can't be that stupid. No, no, they, they really can't. Uh, I, I, I don't understand how they could, but I believe that, that the Israeli Mossad and the NSA has such filthy dirt on people like Obama, uh, uh, John oh, Boehner. All, all of them. Doesn't matter. All key players are compromised. All of them. That's right. They have all this dirt on them. They, they can't do anything but approve all of this. But they've got to keep trying to come back and assure us. For example, uh, I, I want you to understand that John McCain, Lindsey Graham, all the same old crew that pushed through this uh, uh, Obamacare, they're now going to tell us, oh, we are against immigration unless we can fix the border. We're going to have enforcement. You don't worry about that. Uh, and, and, of course, there will be no enforcement. That that's all just pure talk. So they will give us a bill, and they will they will write you a letter, your congressman or your senator, and he will say, "I've helped America out. Yes, I did vote for immigration reform. I voted to to give them amnesty. But but wait, I also voted to tighten up the border. And, but now it's true that Obama has five years to tighten it. This is this is what they're going to do." Right. We've given Obama five years to tighten it. And, of course, by that time, it's, it's all over. Uh, and they don't have to show even an ID card to vote. It's just go in and say, my name is such and such, and go, okay, vote. Well, in California, they're getting, uh, apparently, if they haven't already, they will be able to get licenses, driver's licenses, simply by the same process. Yeah, so then, you know, the, but they don't have to show that uh, driver's license to vote. This well, is part I- of the death spiral. Yeah. So people need to understand that they are they are gone now. Maybe I can just show you things that mention the things that are part of this death spiral, if I could, Jeff. Sure. Well, first of all, there's the seventeen trillion dollars debt. A minimum. Right. Much of it, which we owe supposedly to China, that have bought these government bonds. We made it possible for China to do that by invading Iraq and then giving China their Iraqi oil. For two dollars a barrel. Wow! And, wow. and they're selling it to the world for one hundred and ten, one hundred dollars a barrel. Well, it takes about a dollar a barrel to get it out of the ground when you consider the volume and the technology that is in use now and the amount of oil being pulled out. It's 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 dirt cheap.